What's up, Internet? Luke here, and welcome back to the Hybrid Network. In today's MCU topic video, I would like to discuss Ulysses Claw and how he might just be used in February's Black Panther. Ulysses Claw is a classic Black Panther villain, dating all the way back to August 1966 in Fantastic Four number 53. Ulysses is the son of a Nazi war criminal who spent most of his youth in Belgium, learning about the myths and legends of Wakanda. In his early adult years, he had become sort of an amateur assassin and at one point was hired to kill T'Chaka. The two of them had gotten into a massive fight and then his arm was brutally mangled after that, only to be later amputated. His arm was then replaced with a prosthetic which he, in turn, made a sonic force blaster. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we get introduced to this character during Age of Ultron. Instead of Black Panther amputating his arm, it was Ultron instead. So it seems like Marvel has taken some liberties from his original origin, which isn't surprising considering that they have done this with most of their characters. Ulysses hasn't been fully fleshed out yet, so we don't quite know how they're going to use him as a villain. Some minor spoilers here for what I'm about to describe, so if any of you were in Hall H uh, during the Marvel Studios panel, we got to see a very cool scene unfold. And in that scene, Ulysses gets cornered by T'Challa. He is wearing what appears to be nothing more than a prosthetic arm. Some dialogue takes place, and as Ulysses is talking, his prosthetic hand opens up into a sonic force blaster. He then fires it at T'Challa, and the two of them get blasted back by several feet. It was quite an impressive scene to witness. So it kind of leaves me with the question of how exactly they're going to utilize his character. It makes me wonder if they're going to delve into his backstory further. Such such a rich history is to be told here, and I think that the character could obviously have some kind of strong impact on the story, but again, he isn't fully fleshed out yet. And knowing Marvel Studios, they really like to take some liberties on their compendium of characters. I think that what I would like to personally see for the character is for him to start the Masters of Evil by the end of the film at some point. I think that it would be a shame if they killed the character off. He has been a prominent member of the Masters of Evil more than once, and honestly, I think that Marvel uh, could introduce this organization in the up and coming phase four. And you guys know how Marvel likes to plant those seeds way ahead of time, so it's possible that they could start planting those said seeds in Black Panther. But these are just my thoughts on this character. I would love to know what you guys think. How do you think that this character is going to be used in the film? And will we see his sonic form to any extent? Do you guys think that the character will be fully fleshed out at all? Or do you think that they will simply kill him off by the end of the film? Let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to slam that like button if you like what you saw, and maybe consider subscribing to the Hybrid Network Network, so that way you can stay updated on all MCU related topics. My name is Luke and I'll see you next time.